Oh my gosh, we hooked up big boy. Dude, every time... I don't even know when it was since I caught the last fish. This is crazy. Oh, this tackle is really putting me up to the test here. This fish is too big for this tackle. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another fishing video. This is Scorchin here, and we are hopping right back into our progression series of uh, Fishing Planet. Let's see. Well, haven't played the game in a little bit here, obviously, since I've been on vacation. Um, and it looks like we have to buy our license back. No biggie. I feel like I'm dropping money every time. Um, I wanted to let you know that the, uh, the missions here, I, uh, I completed one of them, which was Mudwater Panfish. Um, our last one, if you remember, was the catfish that we had to catch. Well, I ended up recording another video and I tried to, uh, I think this was before vacation, just so that way I could be prepared for the next video upload. And what happened was my computer blew up. Well, it didn't blow up. It uh, had an issue with it. So my computer is down, so I had to resort to over to my laptop. Um, so you may see a couple changes where the picture quality sounds pretty good um, and everything like that. Uh, when I installed everything on my laptop, I was like, you know what? Let me see what graphics we got and everything like that. So I pretty much went in ahead and put the uh, graphics quality on Ultra. Don't mind that. When you're only using one monitor, you have to play small and multitask. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I had to also reset my settings, but the download, thank God, it's a part of Steam, um, where all my profile content from my previous account or from all my computer transfers over through Steam account. So luckily I still have the download. I didn't have to buy it again and all that stuff. I love that. Anyway, let's hop in. Uh, it looks like we are trying to get the exploration. No, wait, Mudware Trial. So I did catch these in that video that I lost, so just know that we're going to be skipping forward a little bit here. Uh, so we need to catch the bowfin and the grass pickerel. Yeah, there we go. And it was on day four, so that's how you know I lost footage. Like, some stuff, like, skipped forward, and I'm kind of upset about it, but... We'll just continue from here until I get my computer fixed because now that's another project I got to work on now. Oh, and our fish shell is full. Uh, wonderful. So, uh, well, you guys get to see how much money we've made from that video. So let's go to... Oh my god, I'm already forgetting how to do this. Next morning. I don't care what we get in. So we made 1300 I still didn't buy the premium. I'm still going to slowly grind without the perks of the buying process later on after we reached our goal uh, hopefully get to the uh, saltwater experience um, through the progression series we'll end up we'll, we'll figure out what we want right now I just want to see how much out I can get without buying anything oh oh my god we'll see how this goes guys a little bit off topic from what you guys hear me talking about in a lot of the videos, minus the fishing that we're doing, I did actually fix the fuel filter. Obviously, if you remember, I found a video of where it was and everything like that, uh, and everything about that. Uh, there was a little funny story that happened with it because of where I did it. I had to do it in like a parking lot. <laughs> so it was a empty parking lot. I can tell you that much. It was definitely vacant. But that was what I had to do on vacation. Uh, there was a little controversy going on with uh, the shops that I called to see if they could do it, and I had the part with me. Obviously, I didn't. I'm not aware that you can't like just buy a part and then have a shop put it in for you unless you know someone that works at a shop or something like that, because they they can't be held against. They can't be held for liability issues if uh, the part that you get is not the part that you uh, are supposed to have on your vehicle. Even though I sourced my part from General Motors and the dealership itself, asking the part number and all that stuff. So, anyway, but it's whatever. 
Uh, so I changed the fuel filter, had to go to AutoZone, buy the tools while I was on vacation, which is something that you really don't want to do. But if you have to do it and you need it ASAP, you might want to do it. Oh, so yeah. But uh, while I was at AutoZone leading up to the part where I fixed the uh, v, uh, fixed the fuel filter, I had uh, talked to the guys and they were, I didn't know what the size was, but I had to tell them that I watched someone that did has the same vehicle as me kind of and they said that the the socket size was like a 36 and the guys are all looking at me behind the counter at AutoZone and they're sitting there like 36 that's freaking big i'm like yeah do you guys have a socket size for that um uh so that way i can go test it and make sure they're like yeah but we, you should be using something smaller so i'm like what do you mean I told him I, I the only way I can find out if you guys are right is to take it out to the truck and actually put it on there to see if the socket size is going to fit. I took out the 24 and the 28. Or no, I took out the 24 first. I'm sorry. Um, the guys were like, all right, here, just take borrow this. Go take it out to the truck. Come back in and let us know what it fits. Well, I didn't have to come back in because the guy, one of the guys was actually was just sitting there outside of the... Uh, <laughs> he was sitting there outside of the uh the door and just looking at me uh fitting on the seeing if it fit or not i saw him i saw him and i glanced at him and i'm like nah dude this ain't it he's like all right well let's go to the next size up i was like all right go back in we grab the 28 go back outside guy's still glancing at me watching me as i do this making sure i'm not stealing it i'm like i'm not dude i'm not gonna steal this thing i, I already set off the alarms so like come on now you guys even told me about this because they have their stuff on a security. As you walk through the door, uh, the alarm will go off if you didn't buy a product or they didn't take off their security feature of the uh, product. Uh, anyway, uh, the guy's glancing at me. I look at him again after I fit it. I try to fit it and I'm like, dude, this ain't it. This ain't it, bro. So uh, I think it was a 36 or a 32. We go up to the 32 or 36. Like I already forgot since it's been like three or four weeks since I did it. And depending on the size that it was, like I said, I already, I'm already forgetting about what size it was. It actually fit. And the guy's looking at me. He's, his jaw, like he's staring outside and his jaw just dropped. I'm like, yeah, well, guess what? This is what's going on. Technology and vehicle parts and things like that are increasing so you might want to be on alert when someone comes in and asks for if they could borrow a tool <laughs> a tool for this um, because you may have to supply more in stock because they only had one of this 30 series so <laughs> so anyway we got the I got the part uh, the guys were in shock the guys were telling me about their fuel filter replacements that they had to do on their like older gen vehicles um, I think one, the last person that told me they had to do a fuel filter thing was a 20, someone had a 2010 vehicle, um, 2010 or 2014. I, I don't remember, but, uh, yeah. So last time that someone did that, but that was the highest one. So they were saying that it was like a smaller socket size and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I don't understand it, but this is only for the housing. So the housing is like the pro the housing is the part that has a big socket. The fuel filter itself is just attached inside of the housing. I didn't make a video and because of the urgency of the rushing um and we were in a parking lot so I wasn't going to film that. Um because you got to do what you got to do, right? And I was already turned down, so yeah, that's basically what happened. So uh fuel filter is done, no video. Um, uh, on vacation, I also worked with my girlfriend and this is going to be, uh, something in the making for you guys. Um, we have a channel or we started creating the channel, uh, for both of us. And then what we do with our family members, or if we, some do, or if me and her do something together, uh, that channel is going to be uploaded for, uh, this purpose. The car part, the car replacement thing would have been on that channel too. So just a heads up but it's not. So links will be in the description soon. Uh, just stay tuned for that. What else is there? We got all this set, all that set up. Um, uh, update on the, since I missed you guys for like a father's day or 
4th of July video. I only made a prior 4th of July video. Um, or maybe that got cut. I, I don't know. Maybe that got lost. I, I have no idea. Let's see. Yesterday, I looked at my... Uh, I looked at the other truck that I had mentioned, which is my girlfriend's vehicle, to uh, see what needs to be replaced for replaced for the AC unit. Well, uh, that's going to be a little issue because I don't have all my tools with me and everything like that. Not a problem. I don't mind. I need I need to resupply on tools that I know I need. So uh, that's not going to happen for a little bit. I gotta buy a multimeter for fuse testing purpose because I don't have the little my fuse my old fuse tester is kind of shot so we're not gonna be able to do anything with that so I'm still working on the AC figuring out where what's uh what's the issue but uh I'll somehow get a recording out of this because um, right now I don't have everything set for this but uh. Well, I'll figure it out how to do it, and I'll put links to all the parts that I use and things like that in the description for you guys if you guys are curious about what to use and what to do and all that for testing purpose. But right now, let's just fit. Oh, sh okay. Never mind. <laughs> let's just fish and drink coffee. It's a morning thing. It, actually, this temperature looks exactly like the tent. The actually, <laughs> the weather looks exactly the same outside for me on this day while this is recording on the 19th of July. <laughs> oh god, that's so funny. All right, we're not getting any pickerel or bass, so let's see if we can figure this out. Preferred lore is casting spoon or shad. I guess let's go to casting spoon because it doesn't seem to wait 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 oh baloney let's retry that again there we go let that sink to the bottom also I want to thank you guys a lot of support has been coming through um not only on just the videos and then people still uh questioning about the saltwater experience uh update that I posted uh, what months ago two months I don't know whenever that was released people are still commenting on that which is all good I, I'm, I'm getting to every comment that you guys have shared so I love it it, it this is definitely something new to me it's very interactive with uh, the community of how that works I love that that's kind of what I was anticipating on I wasn't anticipating all comments and to be honest but just seeing the comments coming from you guys is just amazing I love it so yeah, the saltwater experiences updates are, uh, let's see, they are working on the, or they already released the testing of the purpose of the, uh, mechanic pull up. So basically the, uh, if you missed the video, uh, you might, I'll leave a, I'll put it at the end of this video so you guys can like watch, uh, watch it and everything like that. But it's basically describing what they're what they were intending on putting into the game. And right now, the developer diaries on the forum page, which I'll also link at the bottom of the description, um, they have the pull up set, the pull up diary. Yeah, the pull up diary. I'm kind of called the pull up diary. I don't I don't even care what it's called at this point. It's a developer diary, but they have pull up in it right now. That's the uh, mechanic that they worked on. But yeah, so there's people still commenting on the video, and. I don't have the answers entirely because what I am looking at and trying to figure out is all when you guys are posting the comment about asking what the requirements are at the moment everyone's saying 80 the only thing that we can do right now is just pay attention to that form or they'll release some sort of update if you have any sort of news notification set on your phone from a specific application uh, they'll probably release it on there, but for right now what I am looking at on the forums Well, not looking at right now, but what I am looking at the forums. That's all I see is That they are doing the pull-up Feature for fishing and it looks pretty cool because it's like you're on a boat fishing on the deep sea or whatever You could be on this lake or whatever and you basically uh, when you when your fish is down below you just when you hook it you're going to be pulling up against it and fighting it 
and reeling at the same time. So kind of like when you hook the fish, except you're on land, you're pulling up the rod to like stop them from going a certain way or make it easier for your reeling. So that's the latest on the uh, saltwater experience. Dude, I am getting skunked. I'm literally doing tire mechanic as well. And I'm just getting skunked. Let's just do a stop and go. Oh, shoot. Dude, what the heck? I know I'm fishing in a good spot. I always catch a lot of fish right over here. Actually, we were catching fish over there in a couple of videos ago. If fishing doesn't feel realistic in the game, you better reconsider thinking about what you're watching. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, we hooked up big boy. Okay. Oh my god, is that about to snap? I can't even tell. No, it's not. Okay, we got two bars left. I don't want to even tension it. What do we get? That's a big bass. Woo! PB! Oh my gosh. Woo! Put up a fight right there. Oh, we need to do that. Oh. Uh, just want to share some other things. Um, I know that I'm working on trying to make this progression series as I can obviously upload a video for you guys to see and watch and keep updated of how, uh, how far I've gotten and things like that. I know that the, the, since this is a progression series, I also want to mix in the fact that the, I feel like this is going to be a long grind. Um, I don't know if I have the cap capability to stream and things like that. I know too much knowledge in the networking de department um, of what I need to have in order to stream and things like that. I did try streaming way back. Uh, I think that was like 20. 2015 or 16 i'd have to pull up my channel and i don't think it's gonna uh be a thing for my situation where i'm at right now so it's kind of hard to mash it all into videos because obviously if a, if i was streaming right now like it, you just put this into perspective if i was streaming right now it would be like me fishing normally or you guys fishing normally on a day on any time of the day it would be, you'd be out there from, let's say, 9 in the morning, if you're a morning person, to do the, uh, to catch the morning rush, into the mid midday rush, and into a little bit of the night rush. Uh, it would be, that's what a stream would consider for this. But because I'm making videos for YouTube, and making it uh, jam-packed and cutting clips and things like that, so that way you guys get all the fun, the good stuff out of it. It's going to be kind of hard to progress through and everything like that. I mean, I can cut a chunk of it out, but I don't want to upload videos that are like an hour long. I know I have a couple that are close to an hour, but that was because I recorded them way in advance and I learned all the knowledge as I progressed through it. And I now know how to properly record, edit, and then upload all in a matter of like one to two days instead of me like upload a video edit the next video that i recorded from i don't know two days ago or something like that three days ago all that stuff i know you can do that but it's uh i find it unorganized when i do it like that because it's it, it's hard and i could pretty much finish the video but i want to give like a little break for you guys to like uh and en enjoy it see the video being posted um and things like that but uh, we'll see how this goes. But I do want to upload something from a different game that I've played in the past. You guys might relate to it or not relate to it. Um, I did, I think somewhere on my medias down in the descriptions, I put that I play World of Warcraft and RuneScape at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but this runescape and world of warcraft um those are my three games that i've played literally well there's an extra one but it was uh not it wasn't uh, eh, it's kind of like up in the air because i need a controller for it i don't play it on pc with the keyboard and mouse with it because i'm a pc gamer i'm not a console gamer 
Um, I used to be, but now I'm not. Uh, since I'm I work in the PC world and everything. Yeah. So the other game, if that was an option on the list, would be Rocket League. But I, I'm not a fan of it now. I, I need a controller to play it. I just don't feel like buying a controller. If I need something that I don't want, there's no point in me buying it. I'm not gonna do that. That's that's pointless. That's why I hated consoles because if you broke something, you had to replace that uh, controller or something like that. And then if the game was on a CD you had, and the game got corrupted or the CD got scratched and things like that, you'd have to buy the new CD again. I just got tired of it. So that's why I switched over into the PC world. And I'm so glad that I never had to like, all right, maybe the only instance where I actually burned a CD to download a game uh, was uh, World of Warcraft when it first came out when I got it on Burning Crusade expansion. That was literally the three things that I needed. So I bought the Burning Crusade, the original game pack of World of Warcraft, and then I bought the Wrath of Lynch King expansion when the Wrath of Lynch King expansion came out. But it was a progression. And I didn't mind installing the latest uh, patch to or the latest uh, CD at that point. Nowadays, it's all cloud-based, and it's hosted on the server, so... Um, you could just pull it from the Blizzard website called Battle.net, I think, and you could just download it. RuneScape never had a CD. It was, at least that, that I'm aware of, it never had a CD. And when I played it was back, it was probably, um, I want to say early 2007, later, late 2007. I don't know. The Grand Exchange, the Grand Exchange had just been, uh, put into the game at that point. I forget whenever that was. But that's when I played it, and I uh, was so into it that it was just crazy. I was I, I the only thing I actually did on there because I'm such a nature boy. I love nature too much, and uh, because obviously we're fishing and everything like that. The only thing I actually did on there was I got the wood cutting and the fletching cave, and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever in the world. But yeah, so I probably I still have the accounts. Um, obviously, since it's cla- it's stored in their uh, server. <laughs> but those were the only two cases I've ever gotten from the game. That's it. And then once they migrated from uh, what they call EOC into or b- returning back to classic and things like that, um, that's when I uh, swapped back over and started playing the uh, old school RuneScape to get the full experience again. And they just been crushing updates left and right since I've last to remember. There's too many new things in there. A lot of shortcuts, too. I'll tell you that much. But anyway, um, back to the point. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get, I'm going to try to mix the games between fishing and World of Warcraft and RuneScape. So I'm, I'll, I'll see what I can do. A lot of them are probably going to be progressions from where I left off, which is fine. But maybe someone has my mindset right now uh, where they like doing this in real life. Uh, fishing and maybe they've also done some games where they uh, played MMOs and their RuneScape uh, roots or their World of Warcraft roots because that's my roots those are my two roots and this is obviously my root but in game form so I don't know it's up to you guys but I am going to do that no matter what uh because I just like both of those. And then when I can find the ability to do a stream at that point, uh, depending if you guys want to follow me over on the streaming side, um, you guys can let me know uh, what game to play for that day. Obviously, we can alternate between two um, and things like that. But right now, I'm not going to put... I'm going to remove my uh, Twitch link from the description until I actually start streaming, and I'll let you guys know when... uh. I start streaming so that way it would, it would be in the video and I'll just let you guys know oh hey I started streaming so if you guys want to follow me go over there and follow me but for right now I'll just take it out I'm pretty sure you guys have gotten annoyed with the links in the description and you'd rather just watch the video are we only going to catch one fish per in this video this is insane this is boring I'm just chatting to you guys I love it but wow also if anyone wants to add me in the game Feel free to add me in the game. We could, uh, maybe I could talk with someone while keep keep the chat interesting on the game. Why not? Could do party rooms, things like that. 
and I can record with uh, someone playing. I don't mind that. I love interaction. Right now, I'm just a lonely person, like I normally am in real life. Well, <laughs> oh god, I'm not a lonely person in real life. Oh my gosh, I'm leaving that in. That's staying in. Fuck it. Um. <laughs> Uh, but you know what I mean. I fit when you go fishing. Normally, you go by yourself because it's relaxing and things like that. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And a guy, maybe if you picture it, a guy just pulled up with their vehicle and they're just fishing in another spot. <laughs> oh shoot! I love how I'm just creating this. <laughs> if anyone wants to join me, feel free to join me. You can uh. Send a message in my comments, and I'll put my uh, I'll put my uh, profile information there, or I'll uh, maybe I could put. I wonder if you could do that. I don't know. You guys will find out in the end of this video. Uh, in the description, I'll probably put a link to my Steam, so that way you can add me on Steam. Maybe is that is that possible? Can you do that? Is that legal? I don't know. <laughs> If anyone's a, if anyone wants to follow along or add me, I'll uh, I'll, I'll figure something out. But yeah, so <laughs> if you made it this far, this is where I start going delusional and I figure out what to do because we are not getting a single bite. Let's try back to the shad. Maybe we could. I can't skip. Oh my gosh! Wait, is it nighttime? What the heck's happening to the? I don't know. You know what? Whatever. All right, let's just uh, toss it over to lily pads over there. Just reel it from there. I'm really shocked I'm not catching anything. It's very depressing. It's not like I'm recording and I'm messing up my uh, clicks and rotation of the uh, lower. Oh, yeah, I'm not messing this up. It's the current. My lower must be like light and everything like that. It's not holding its ground. Yeah, you can see it's like turning as, as I'm reeling it in. Dude, what in the world? I can't throw this thing anywhere. I think I can only catch bass. I wanted to let you know, I did catch a freshwater drum on this exact setup right here. In this exact spot. And that was in the uh, previous video that I uh, lost because uh, I'm dumb. And my computer went down. <laughs> so, I'll tell you this much, that the... Uh, the freshwater drum was actually really hard for me to catch when I originally started playing this game, like way back. I struggled with that. I also struggled with the bow fin. I would leave. I would be actually over there where that guy is right now. I would leave, come back, try a new lore because I didn't know about the in-game shop. And I'm so glad I made an in-depth video of uh, explaining the shop for each lake because literally I could have just used the, what was in the shop of the lake for any species of the fish that are in this water right now. I spent all my bait coins, everything, it went down the drain. It was crazy. Let's see if we can swap it to a one. Maybe we can get the lift and drop better. But yeah, I caught the freshwater drum over in this section. I didn't mark it. I don't know why I didn't mark it. I just, I don't know. Don't ask. <laughs> Maybe we can do a stop and goes. Since it mimics a mim. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Dude, every time... I don't even know when it was since I caught the last fish. This is crazy. Dude, that is not a... That is not a bass. There's no way that... That is a... Oh, this has got to be a drum or, or a bowfin. Okay. Um... Oh, let's see. Ah! Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Stay on, stay on, stay on, Betsy. Come on, yeah, swim right to me. No! Don't swim away from me. Oh my god, dude. Oh, we got some jumping action. Yeah, there we go. Why does all the good stuff happen later in videos? Oh, this tackle is really putting me up to the test here. This fish is too big for this tackle. Okay, what did we get here? Come on. Dude, you drug me from 20 all the way up to 60. 
What the heck? If this is a bass, I'm going to be surprised. But this does not look like a bass. Oh my gosh. Real, 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 real. So the pull up uh, the pull up feature looks like exactly like what I'm doing except you're on a boat. Oh, shiza. I'm not one to follow the fish to get a better retreat. Oh, okay, I stopped clicking. Bro, can you just come in? I want to know what you are. Oh god. Dude. Oh. I love these ultra settings. Dude, look at the rip current. That's crazy. I might have to start playing this fishing game on my laptop. If you guys are curious about what laptop I got, I don't mind sharing that either. That is not a bass. That is not a bass. That is not a bass. That is, there's no way that's a bass. That's a bowfin. That's the bowfin, baby. Yes. Oh, God. Uh, oh, four pound bowfin. Holy shoot. Picture of it? Let's try a picture. Let's let's see if we can get this this time. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We'll just uh what H is hide, hide what? Uh sure, let's just uh you know we'll, we'll just uh I don't know, we'll just pee that. I don't uh, how do you take the photo? Dude, how do I take the photo? Is it taking it? Is it I don't know, guys, guys. Guys, this is a bust. I, I don't, uh, you know what? Forget it. I don't care. It says P is for photo. I think I, 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 I must be. Uh, whatever. You know what? It, it's going, guys. You guys have it on video. It's, it's there. Keep. Woo! All right. There's the bowfin. Oh shoot! I should have did F1 to figure out what uh, everything was. Oh well. I don't care. All right, so we got the bowfin. We just need the pickle roll now. Four pound bowfin. That thing looks like a snakehead. I'm pretty sure you can actually catch snakehead in this game. I, I don't know. That was pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even... I can mark it now, I think. Map. Add. Yes. Wow. I caught it right over there, right next... Right just along... Wow, wait, hold on. Woo! That's a good throw. <laughs> I don't think it gets any better than that. <laughs> Woo, that's pretty cool. Alright, well, uh, we got a bowfin, so... Uh, next thing on the list is the pickle roll, which don't seem to be appearing. So let's just do... I know they love stop and go. I don't know why I'm not getting them. They chase after minnows. Their preferred bait is like a shiner. Hmm... I could buy the white shad. Try the white shad. We could also up the real speed to three. But yeah, I lose control of the lure. Plus I don't know anything that will hit this at a three. I've never had any luck with a three. Whoa! Alright, I just I proved that proved me wrong. Okay. Um We got a bass. Sweet. Okay. Let's see if we can keep it at a three now. Is that is that the magic uh Touch, keeping it at a real speed of three. As you can see, it's reeling so fast to come in. I don't like that. Because it doesn't give you much. Yeah, it doesn't give you much when you do that. I hate that. All right, so wait, let's try stop and go with the spoon on the three. And this is another thing I'm talking about. Like on a stream, I could basically be talking to you guys, asking you guys for feedback, just to help me better understand what I should be using for these species. Now, I'm kind of doing this all by myself, and once I upload the video, I've already figured out the technique and things like that. So there's really no point. That's why I prefer to stream at times, but it's whatever. Dude, what do you, bro, I'm fishing here. This is my spot, move away. I think I might need to look at the uh, weather chart. We're in day five. It's an overcast day, so let's switch over to the yellow. I mean, it looks overcast. I can't see the sun anywhere. 
There's like some sun spots with the trees. Okay, there we go. Please be a pickerel. What the fudge? This is probably a bass. Yeah, it's a bass. I think they're more money right now on this uh, lake or river. I also just realized my max fish, uh, if I hook a fish that big, is 7.7 .7 pounds. So glad that bowfin was under. <laughs> I could not keep it. No, don't dip down. Why are you dipping? You just messed up my entire retrieve. And logically speaking, pickerel love grass areas. Like right where I caught the bowfin and just drag it along the channel kind of deal. Or it could be some other spot. But uh, they love areas where they can ambush prey. Oh. Oh my god, dude. He smoked it. Jesus. Yeah, zigzag towards me. I love the pictures. Whoa, don't even. We're gonna get this Bassmaster achievement. And <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to catch bass, guys. Come on. Uh, I love catching bass, but like, I have one goal in mind, and that's to achieve every species of the lake each tier. And then I seem to only catch bass. My coffee's getting cold because of this. I wonder if, do I have the rod stand? No, I only have empty hands. Okay. I don't even remember what I bought. If I've ever bought, if I did buy things. I'm trying to ride it out to peak, to, uh, peak time. I think it starts picking up around 9 o'clock. And it's 8.19. I think it's also been like 9 minutes or something like that. I hate switching between lures. One of them should be working the entire time. But the fish are just not smacking it. I get like one... Okay, so here's a here's the best way to put it in perspective. I get one fish every five minutes. From that bass to the bowfin, it took me ten minutes. Just think of, of all the stuff that I have to actually include and edit out just to get to that point. So that way you guys could have a video. <laughs> that that's crazy. It's it's legit real life right now. Uh, and these guys keep ruining it. And we managed to level up. Look at that. <laughs> so 1,500 points or bucks. Uh, bait coin, lore. No, at rod, reel. Okay. Braid. Cool. Uh, more bass jigs. Nice. That's my favorite bass jig. I have that myself. More braid. Mono. Crawfish cut. I believe this might be bait coin. Just letting you know. That might be bait coin. And that's what I'm talking about. Like You'll get things and you'll have to either use your bait coin or avoid it. Um, another grub. A slop. Grub. Slop. Hey, hey, the crawfish. I know I love using them. Twin tail spider grub. I think I have one of them. I managed to make one. I put like a grub worm and um, I had a, a, what is it? I had something that I would attach to that. Cool. Nope, I'm buying it, not buying it. I love razor and everything and that reminds me of razor, but I'm not buying it. I am not doing it. Oh man, I was gonna look at the shiner or see what the the bait was for the uh pick roll, but oh well. Dude, instantly, come on man. Smoked it. That is another wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a pass. I knew it. Can you guys let the pickerel get to the bait, please? Thank you very much. I'll uh, I'll pay you a bait coin. I should have. I wish you could like throw a lucky penny into the water. I used to do that a lot. Throw a lucky penny in the water. Actually, I throw a lucky coin in the water. To be honest, any coin really. If you guys ever did that, let me know. Like your luck of the day. I think we used to do that. I think me and my dad used to do that every time we went fishing. Not every time, but like sometimes. 
we'd be like when we get to the lake we get to our fishing spot we'd be like all right got the lucky coin and then we just start fishing after that the memories oh right next to the boat then where i caught it here pickerel 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 come here pickerel oh wait i think i gotta hit shoot i can't even do like the stop and go pretty good it just doesn't want to do it all right one more cast and we'll call it a video Oh, right there. Nice. And it's a bass. All right. That's going to conclude the video for today. If you liked the video, please give the video a like. If you like, feel free to subscribe. If you enjoy the content that's being created for you, or you want to stay up to date with the progression and things like that, there will be more videos coming soon. I will be putting a link to my uh, Steam if you feel like adding me and we can do fishing together or collab on here. I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.